Hi guys, Alexa here, and today I am going to do a video that will hopefully hopefully help you, hopefully help you, um, as you get started with the 21 Day Fix program. And one of the biggest things that I get when I have challengers that get started with this program is that they are overwhelmed with figuring out how to figure out the containers and how to start meal planning and just how to how to get started. So I hope that this video is going to help kind of answer some questions and give you an idea of how to get started with this program and really get on track. Um, one of the first things that I can really um, offer you as far as advice goes is to keep it simple as you get going and get used to the containers. Um, you definitely can get more creative and get, get new recipes and start to do different things once you get a little bit more comfortable with how it works, but when you get started, Keep it very simple. It does not have to be overcomplicated. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you and walk you through how it can be very easy to plan out your meals each week for the 21 day fix. So the first thing that you're wa going to want to do is figure out which calorie bracket that you follow into. So whether you are doing the 21 day fix or the 21 day fix extreme, there's the page um, in your booklet that looks something like this and it helps you um, figure out which calorie bracket you fall into. So, um, you know, I already went through and did my calculations and everything. This is for the 21 Day Fix Extreme, but tw like I said, 21 Day Fix, they both kind of work the same way. Um, and I found out that I fall into the 1200 calorie bracket, the first one right here. So, when you look at your calorie bracket, it tells you how many total of each container you are allowed to eat throughout the day. So, for example, I have a three next to my green container. That means that throughout the day, I'm allowed to fill my green container three different times, and that's how much that I get. And I have two purples, so I get to have two servings of fruit or two purple containers worth of fruit throughout the day, and so on and so forth. So when I get started with meal planning, the first thing that I do is I'm kind of a visual person. You could do this, um, just write it out on a piece of paper, or if you like to keep track of stuff on your computer, you can make a spreadsheet. But what I do is I kind of create a um, checkbox system so that as I go through and write out my meal plans and write out my ingredients and everything like that, I, I can keep track of how many of each container I have left. So as you guys can see here, I have the 1200 calorie meal plan and I just made boxes next to each one um, so that I know how many of each that I get. So I have three greens, two purples, you know, as you can see. So now, you know, I can see, okay, I know how many containers that I have total each day. And now I can kind of base my meals around that. So the next thing that I really think is good for you guys to do is to go through the list of foods and really kind of decide um, which ones you want to incorporate into your meals for the week. So, um, and like I said, you need, I think it's really important to keep this very simple when you first get started. So, um, you know, I already know that for my um, breakfast, I love to have Shakeology. So, you know, it's like I can go through and figure out which ones that I know that I want to incorporate into my meal plan. So Shakeology is one of them. And then what I kind of do is um, on a separate piece of paper, I've written out so that I can kind of start to meal plan and keep track, um, you know, how many meals I want to have. So some people like to have like three meals a day. I like to have three meals and two snacks. So I have it breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and that kind of gives me space for me to then go and, and fill in my containers and fill in what my food is going to be like for the week. Okay, so like I said, I like to have Shakeology for my breakfast. So what I'm going to do now is kind of, it's like a puzzle a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I love to have Shakeology for my breakfast. So I'm writing Shakeology, and Shakeology counts as a bread container. So I have Shakeology written down, as you guys can see, and I'm going to go back and check off one of my red containers. And I always like to blend my Shakeology with a cup of almond milk, um, unsweetened almond milk, and that counts as half of a yellow container. So I'm going to say almond milk on here, almond milk for my breakfast, and then I'm going to go back to my yellows, and I'm going to check off half of a yellow. And I always also like to add 
um, spinach to my Shakeology just because it likes to, you know, it adds um, more nutrients and it's a great way to get in a green container if you have more green containers. So like I know some of the higher calorie brackets have a lot more green containers and you're like, okay, where am I going to fit in all these vegetables? Add it into Shakeology because that's an excellent way to do it. Um, you don't taste it. I don't taste the spinach, um, but it's a, just a great way to add more nutrition to your shakes. So I'll have um, spinach in my Shakeology. Um, so then I go back and I'll check off a green container and then I always do, um, I love to do half a banana in my Shakeology so I kind of think about the recipes that I want to do. I always put half a banana in my Shakeology because it makes it creamier. So um, I'll do half a banana and then um, I usually, depending on what flavor I'm doing, either if I'm doing chocolate, I usually actually like to add full banana. Um, or if I'm doing um, green berry, which is my second favorite, I'll do half a banana plus um, a purple container of like frozen mangoes or peaches or something. So either way though, I personally use both of my purple containers in my Shakeology. Some people like to save one of their purples for their snack, which you can totally do. Um, that's the great thing. It's totally up to you. You can put, you can say, well, I don't, I don't want to use up both of my purple containers for my Shakeology. I want to have one for my snack. Okay, that's great. Then just put one for your um, Shakeology and put one down for your snack. But that's just what I like to do. So um, I'll just put fruit because it kind of depends um, whether I'm doing greenberry or chocolate for the day. Um, and then I'll go through and check off both my purple containers. So there. Um, as you can see, I have no more purple containers left for the day. So no more purples, but I do have two greens and I have three reds. I have one and a half yellow, a blue, orange, and two teaspoons left. So that kind of helps me as I get started with the rest of my day. So moving on. Um, you know, I have a, another snack that I have, in, you know, mid-morning. I work from home, and one of my favorite meals that I like to have, you know, going through and looking at some of the, the um, food options, you can see, okay, well, I kind of like that. You know, that would be good for a snack. Um, you can even go and look in the back at the recipe calendar, or um, the recipe ideas in the 21 Day Fix Extreme. It has some really great snack ideas. So, like, right here, they have, like, edamame and ses sesame seeds. So you could say, oh, that sounds delicious. I want to have that this week. So write that down as your snack. You know, write off your purple. Check off one of your yellows. It's not purple, sorry. Check off one of your yellows and your orange, and boom, you're done. Um, and that can kind of help you as you move forward and figure out what you want for lunch and stuff. So for me, um, one of my favorite meals that I love to have is eggs and um, oh, steel-cut oatmeal. That's like my absolute favorite. I don't know why. I love it. I eat it pretty much every day. So what I actually like to do is, um, for the red containers, you can, remember, you can kind of mix and match. So, you know, I have half of the yellow left plus a full yellow. So what I'll probably do is um, do uh, one full yellow of um, steel-cut oatmeal. So I'll, I'm going to write down steel-cut oatmeal for my snack. And um, for my eggs, um, as you guys can see in the red container, two whole eggs count as um, one red and eight egg whites, I believe, let me double check, eight egg whites count as um, a red. So what I actually do is I do one full egg and four egg whites. So it's kind of half and half. Um, I don't know why I just do that. I just think, I mean, I like to have the yellow from the egg. It makes it a little bit better. And um, But adding in the egg whites makes more volume of eggs. So that's what I just do. I do one egg plus four egg whites. And that equals one red. So that's what I'll do for my eggs. Um, and I'm going to then check off one of my red containers. Okay, so now I'm down, this is where I'm down to, and I'm on to lunch. So for lunch, I'm like, I love to have salads for lunch. Salad is like one of my favorite things because it's really easy to do. So for um, lunch, I know that I will do a salad of some sort. So I'll, I'll say um, I'm going to do uh, mixed greens um, and veggies. So just remember that you can do, um, you know, you can put multiple things in your green container as long as it um, is on the list. So I'll say mixed greens and veggies. I'll go through the list of veggies, which ones that I want. Um, you know, maybe I'll do bell pepper, cucumber, onion, whatever it is. And so I'll count that off as my green. And then I love to put chicken, you know, diced chicken breasts. So um, I'll do, I'll say, okay, let me put some chicken for my protein. So I'll put chicken down on my list. Um, cross off a red container. I still have half a yellow left. 
So then I can say, okay, well, what's a yellow that I could add to my salad? Um, and looking through, beans are an awesome one. I love garbanzo beans. That's like one of my favorites. So I will fill up half of a yellow container with garbanzo beans um, and cross that off. And so I'm going to say half a yellow, um, half um, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, however you want to however you want to do it, um, half a yellow of garbanzo beans. And then, um, so there's all my yellows for the day. I'm done with my yellows. And um, you can see for oranges, that's a perfect way for you to get your um, dressing in. So, or dressing is a great way, great way for you to get your orange container in. So I'm going to say, let's see, let me look at the orange, um, orange dressings and say, okay, let's see what looks good. Ooh, creamy mint dressing. Haven't tried that yet. So I'm going to say creamy mint dressing and cross off my orange container. Um, so here's that. I wrote that down and, um, that looks pretty good for my, for my lunch. So, um, so that's a really great, like well-rounded lunch, I would say. Um, so now, you know, it's and I, and also I'm gonna add that I'll I'll use a teaspoon to cook my chicken breast, a teaspoon of olive oil. So I'll cross off a teaspoon for that as well. So now it's dinner time. Um, oh, I have another snack. So it, I mean, it kind of depends. Like you can like cross some of these off. So I mean, I kind of went ahead and like bulked up my salad. So I put a lot more into my salad, but you can take some stuff out. Um, like I said, and kind of split containers up. I don't have as many containers since I'm in the lower calorie bracket, but you can definitely space your meals out a little bit more than I was able to. So um, for dinner, I'm just going to skip ahead and um, do dinner. And so I have left, you know, I've been following my check boxes. So as you can see, I have a green container left, a blue, um, a red, and a teaspoon. So I'm going to say, okay, well, what, 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 what do I have left that I could do for dinner? That would be really great. Um, you know, and I'm thinking, let's see, looking at some of the containers, like this is a great way you can just go through the containers and see, okay, well that looks good. I'd love to add a little bit of that or whatever. Um, so how about, um, okay, one of my favorite recipes is hummus crusted chicken. Um, I don't know if you guys have, have seen me post about this, but it's really easy. You literally put hummus on a chicken breast, put it in the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees and it's delicious. So I'm going to do hummus crusted chicken because hummus counts as a blue and I have a red left so there's my um there is my red container and then I'm going to do I have a green and teaspoon left so why don't I do um some asparagus and um drizzle it with some olive oil to finish off my containers. So there you go. Boom. Green for asparagus. Um, my hummus crusted chicken is my red and my blue. And then I put some teaspoon of olive oil um, on my asparagus for my dinner. And there you go. I just planned an entire day of meals um, completely to my containers. And I also have a grocery list. Hello. Boom. Done. Like, I know what I need to get from the store. I can go through and say, okay, well, I have almond milk. Ooh, I don't have spinach. Ooh, I need to get more banana. Let's see, I need some steel-cut oatmeal. I'm out of eggs. You know, whatever. Um, but this is how I sit down and meal plan every week. And if you're the type of person who maybe um, needs a little bit more variety, you can do, like, you can do these, um, this meal for, like, a couple days a week and then do the same thing um, and find new recipes or find new foods to try out and mix in for you. Um, but really, I think that it's just so easy to just kind of plug and play. Like, find what you like. Um, a great way to, to do this is with stir fries. I love to do um, the ground turkey with veggies and do stir fries and then um, add in some olive oil and, um, you know, just season it up really well and it's really simple. I mean, I just say keep it simple for sure, especially the first time that you're doing it because I know that it can be overwhelming, but just take it like this, break it down, make it really, really easy for yourself, and I promise you, you are going to see not only amazing results with the program, but you're going to see that eating clean and meal planning and preparing ahead of time does not have to be difficult. So, 
I really hope that this video helped you in getting started with the 21 day fix. Um, please comment below and let me know if this has helped you get on track because, you know, I this is something that a lot of my challengers have trouble with. So if you have any issues, please, um, I hope that this helped you kind of de-stress a little bit and hopefully you will just get amazing results with the 21 day fix like I did. Thanks so much for watching and hope you guys are living healthy and I'll talk to you soon.